Just because a band has one song that stands out above the rest doesn't necessarily mean it's a reflection of the rest of their work. By 2008, Slipknot was known for its shocking scary look, its dark heavy sound, and basically your mother's worst nightmare. They were set to release another single, but instead of screaming vocals and beer keg hits, came a slow and brooding song with acoustic guitar and hauntingly beautiful lyrics. The air around me still feels like a cage. Love is just a camouflage for what resembles rage again. Snuff is a reflection of where Slipknot frontman Corey Taylor was at the time. Normally, Corey would wait to hear the music the rest of the band had come up with and write his lyrics around that. But being in the middle of a divorce, Corey was struggling with heartbreak and couldn't resist getting his feelings on paper. It took years to get through. Even after moving on and being in different relationships, that haunted me for a long time, you know? And it was, it was brutal. And it was one of those things where it's like you knew you weren't supposed to be together. But there was just something there that felt so good. And when it was ripped away from you, it just felt like there was a hole in your chest. Knowing that and having to discard those feelings was tough. As opposed to most of Slipknot's previous work, you hear a more introspective Corey instead of just plain angry. He's blaming himself for the failed marriage and asking her to leave him quickly to rip off the band-aid of the breakup. So if you love me, let me go And run away before I know My heart is just too dark to care I can't destroy what isn't there Upon first release, the slow and mellow nature of Snuff divided a chunk of Slipknot's loyal fan base. The most common criticism was that it sounded like an outtake from Corey's other band, Stone Sour. That's something Corey has really taken issue with. Writing that down and sharing that with people was probably one of the heaviest songs I've ever written. With Slipknot, everything we're trying to do is not only heavy, but emotional. It comes from that prism of heartbreak, depression, but then self-awareness. If fans weren't sure about this new heartfelt side to Slipknot, the band sure didn't pull any artistic punches with a music video. Co-directed by the band's percussionist, Sean Clown Cran, the video is more of a short film. It features Corey stalking a woman in an apartment. You don't see her face until the end, where it's revealed the woman is just a cross-dressed Corey. It's as if the woman is a figment of Corey's imagination, as he recalls the memories in their apartment together. The video kind of culminates in what the behavior profiling calls a stressor. The man is so lost without that other person that he becomes that other person. The, the personality psychologically twists itself to save itself. Snuff is a great example of how when you take artistic risks, it can pay off and broaden you to a new audience. It was the fifth single from Slipknot's 2008 All Hope Is Gone and would become their highest charted single on the Billboard Rock Tracks chart at number two. It's a testament to Corey's courage in showing vulnerability in a genre where that's very rare. And that's really at the heart of everything that Slipknot is, that this pain can become something beautiful. 